channel. Um, I had a request to see the glitter painting dried, so here it is. Um, if you haven't seen it, I will link to it in the description bar. But they wanted to see how the glitter is sticking, and it's on there. You can see pretty well. I just shook it, shook the glitter over top. I didn't press it in or anything. Um, without the flash on, it's hard to get it in the light just right to sparkle, but it is sparkling. Oh, there you can sort of see it. There you go. So it's really sparkly and glittery. Um, I put it here, here, and here. I left it um, blank here, so just fun. And there you go. It dried really well, and actually this one didn't warp too bad. Um, a little bending will get it right back to where it needs to be, which is kind of nice. So I hope you all aren't sick of string pours, or string pulls, because I'm going to do another string pull. I'm having so much fun with them, though, I just can't quite stop myself. And I'm really excited about my color palette tonight. I was mixing up the colors, and I had all these... Um, ideas running through my head of other things I could do. So I'm going to be using doo -doo -doo -doo, Payne's Gray. Um, if you haven't used Payne's Gray before, it is beautiful. It's also beautiful mixed with some white. It's almost black. Um, in fact, it's probably going to look black on camera. It's almost black, but like, see if I can put it, you know, but if you add some white to it, it's actually like a teal color. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, when you put a little water in it, you can see how, like, it's just a really, really deep teal color. It's beautiful. Um, also using, do, 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 um, <laughs> make the announcements exciting, Arteza Gold. This is from their Outdoor Acrylic Colors. And, do, 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 you guys know I like sound effects. Um, Basics Cronacridone Magenta, which I also love this color. Um, my favorite pink. So... I am going to pour the magenta on my canvas. This is going to be my background color. And this is just mixed with Floetron water. There's no si um, silicone in this color. And I've gotten some comments, and yes, it is a bit thicker than a lot of people use for pouring. Um, it's probably a hair bit thicker than I usually use for pouring, partly because it's background color. I can touch up the sides later. Um, partly because I just typically use a little thicker mix than most people. Um, but with my background color, I want it to be just a little bit thicker anyway. I want it super, super runny. Okay, and I do have a mixing video if you're a beginner and you're like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, click the description bar and I'll have a link to my beginner's video and that has a link to a mixing video as well. I talk about the mixing of it in the beginner video, but it's a more in-depth um, video for mixing also. So there we go. Background color. Alright, and you do not need a lot of paint for the stirring poles, the dancing, I'm going to do a dancing string pole. Um, so I have very little mixed you can see in there and it will be plenty. So. Can you see this? Are, are my colors in camera? Let's move this over. There we go. And that side is really dry. Let me add a little bit to this edge real quick. I don't care if I need to touch up, but I do want some of it running over. My string pole will probably go over and it'll be harder to touch up if there's no pink on there. Okay. There we go. Wipe my hands off. So if you've not seen the dancing string pole before, where have you been? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, it just feels like I've done a lot of them lately. Let me get a string that's not quite so long. I don't need a long string. Okay, so I'm going to dip this in my gold. And then I'm going to use a stick to kind of push it down in there. I wonder if I should do it on the black first. Um, I'm going to push it down in there, and then I'm going to pull it up, and as I pull it up, I'm going to, you know, make sure some of that um, comes off. So I want it nice and coated, but I don't want it, like, dripping with paint. Alright. Yeah. I'm going to start about right here. I'm going to drag it through. And I'm kind of dance the string across 
that canvas, which is why I call it a dancing string pull. And I'm going to not use another string because I don't want any pink in my gold. So um, hopefully I have enough string here cut. I'm going to do the black next and see how the black does with that gold. I will probably go into the gold um, after that again. I don't do too many pulls on one canvas because it, it can get busy and it can get a little muddy. And the more you go over it, like if you go over it a whole bunch of times, you can lose um, the design. Now I have done some where I layer a bunch of colors on the canvas and then I pull a dry string through the colors as opposed to dipping it in the color. And for that, um, I do sometimes um, pull it through quite a bit to get some neat effects. But when I'm doing it this way, I usually don't. I'm not saying you can't, and if you do, I'd love to see how it turns out. You can share your picture on We Pour Art on Facebook, which is my Facebook page. I'd love to see it there, and I will share it. If you try any of these dancing string techniques, go ahead and share it on that We Pour Art, and I will share it on my page, credited to you, of course, so that everybody can see, because it's kind of fun to see how everybody does it a little bit differently. Ooh, I like that. I like that one a lot. Okay. So I think I'm going to do maybe one more black. Um, and then I'm going to do one more gold. And really that will be all it needs. Almost getting a little purpley on the edge. It's really pretty. I'm going to do my black, second black, before I do my second gold. And I don't think I want quite as much. I'm going to do a smaller... Of paint. But you can see here, you really don't need much paint for this, so it's, um, you know, if you don't have a lot of paint or you're trying to save money on paint, um, this is a really economical kind of way to do it because, I'm just going to go into that one, you don't go through the paint like you do with traditional pouring. You just need your background color and a teeny tiny bit of paint for your string poles, and that's it. And you can see it's very dramatic look having a nice bright colored background. This string is really long. I don't have any scissors. But anyway, you have a very dramatic look um, when you do, well even a white background if you've got some colors that really pop. It's just a really neat dramatic look. Something a little bit different. Anyway, without using too much paint and it doesn't take much time at all to do these da dancing string pulls. great on the pocketbook and great on the time if you don't have a lot of time to pour. Okay, this string is ridiculously long. Kind of like when you're wrapping presents and you lose the scissors. I lost my scissors. Okay, so I'm going to go over this part of the black. That's really pretty. I don't want to drag this string Some of that in that part right there. Okay. And let me look at it from above. Get an eagle eye. Oh look, there's some sunlight coming in. You've got like this big bright spot. Sorry about that. I had tunnel vision from pouring. Let me close that. Alright. So... I think I'm going to do one more little bit with some of this Payne's Gray and then I'm going to be done. Um, I really like that, but I liked having a little bit of black right in here. There. That is it. And I am going to call that done. So on my camera, it's looking a little bit red to me, so I'll try and fix that in editing, but if it looks a little red to you, it really is, oh, there we go, it's a beautiful pink color. I need to put a little bit more paint right there, but that's okay. Focus. You can see that black and gold just pulled through that pink. Oh, I need to touch up a couple places here. 
and on the sides, obviously, but that's okay. I'm good with that. But you can see how dramatic, but yet subtle it is. So um, try the dancing string pull if you haven't, and if you have, share them, and I'd love to see them. Or if you have questions, let me know in the comment section. I always love also when you just stop by and say hello so I know who all is out there. And we will see you next time, guys. In the meantime, happy pouring.